Hello my friends! Today we're going to use styrofoam to create prints. Prints are artworks made by pressing or printing something onto paper rather than directly drawing or painting on it. It's a super cool way to make lots of copies of the same picture with different colors. You will need a styrofoam plate, bowl, takeout container, or a tray like this. Anything that you can find that's a smooth styrofoam will work. You'll need a pen to draw your design, maybe some scissors, some paper to print your pictures on, and markers to color on the styrofoam. Water-based only, like Crayola or Mr. Sketch. Sharpies won't work for this. Last, you will need a way to get the paper wet. A sponge, a wet paper towel, spray bottle, or problem solve. First, depending on your styrofoam, you may need to cut it so that it's a nice, large, flat shape. It's okay if your shape is a circle or a square. Mine just happens to be a rectangle. Now, take the pen and draw any design you want. I decided to draw a picture of a rose for mine, but you could draw an elephant, the mountains, yourself, your house, your pet, whatever you want. When you draw, the most important thing is to dent the styrofoam, not to show the ink. Try to press medium hard so that you dent it or make an impression but don't break through the styrofoam. When your drawing is done, color it in with water-based markers right on the styrofoam. So just Mr. Sketch or Crayola or Rose Art, not Sharpie or any permanent markers. Make sure to do something special with the negative space around the rose or the background. Now take one of your papers and add a little bit of water to the whole thing. It shouldn't be dripping or soaking, just a little bit shiny. When it's ready, place the wet side of the paper onto the styrofoam picture and press all around the paper, all the corners, the sides, and in the middle. It's really important that the paper stays right in its spot and doesn't move or scooch around at all after you place it on the styrofoam. If it moves, the picture will be smeared and unclear. You should be able to see the picture through the paper a little bit. And if you can't, just add more water with the sponge. Now I will peel it carefully off. Wow, that's my favorite part about printmaking. The surprise when you see how the print looks is like opening a present to see what it is. Let's make another one with different colors. Clean off your styrofoam with a wet paper towel or the sponge, but make sure you rinse the sponge after so that it's clean for the next paper. Let's color it again and use a different color scheme this time. When it's ready, I will wet the paper, place it on the styrofoam, and without moving it, press all around to make the print. I made four different rose prints, and now I want to make the styrofoam its own beautiful piece of art. So I will change markers and use permanent Sharpie to permanently color the styrofoam. I love how everything turned out. I got five different pictures from one drawing I did at the beginning, and they're all really cool. Please show me what you decided to print on Flipgrid. See you there!